Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Today I have my April candle and wax empties to share with you. It is about mid-May right now and I'm just now getting around to filming this. So thank you as always for your patience as I still upload videos very late. My April theme was a fresh aquatic green and garden scents and I thought that that was perfect for the beginning of spring. I do have to say that while I loved a lot of the individual scents that I melted and finished, overall last month I just really wasn't kind of feeling home fake fragrance or specifically I don't think I melted as much as I normally do. I think what happened is because I do have this varied theme where I have aquatic and green scents that I kind of was a bit over ambitious with my melting basket and I think that kind of overwhelmed me in the mornings when I was trying to pick which scents I wanted to melt for the day and then toward the end of April I started craving orange scents so I did pull some orange scents and started melting those instead of my theme. I think also last month I was just wanting to sort of clear out the scents from my house. I mean as you can imagine because of the amount of wax and the candles that I burn every day, every week, every month, you know there are some times when I just feel like I need to clear the air in my house and sort of get all of the scent out and there were some really nice days in April where I was able to open the windows and kind of let the fresh air come in. I feel like that's a little bit evident this month in the wax is that I just wasn't finishing as much, wasn't getting through as much and there were some days that I didn't even put anything in my warmers at all which is very rare for me but it was nice and I do think it's nice to have like a clear out of your senses and of the space and your air and, and I did enjoy that part. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had a neighbor tell you that they can smell your house or a post office worker or FedEx person tell you that your house is the most fragrant on their route, let me know. I would love to hear your story. As with all of my empties, I'm going to start with the random bits first, the body care hand soaps and lush bath bombs, and then I'll move into the wax melts and then into the candles. If you're only interested in a particular portion of the video, I will leave the timestamps below so that you can click on the timestamp and it will take you directly to that portion of the video. As I have already rambled enough and I do have a quite a bit here, I'm going to jump right in. So if you're interested in hearing about what I melted, used, and burned in April, let's get started. We finished two hand soaps in April. The first one was this Gentle Foaming Hand Soap in Blueberry Crumble. I love the packaging of this entire line. I think it's super cute. The notes of the soap are fresh blueberries, brown sugar glaze, and a dash of cinnamon. I thought that the scent of this was really nice. You definitely get this brown sugar blueberry. It kind of actually reminded me of the berry waffle cone candle. I think that these, this scent in soap form, especially when you were actually using the soap, was very very similar to the berry waffle cone candle. I thought it was really neat that they tried to put the candle scent in soap form. I do wish they had brought this entire line out in a different form besides the gentle foaming. I'm not personally a huge fan of the gentle foaming. They do tend to dry my hands out. I know that they're not as messy as some of the other forms and a lot of people really love them but they're just not my personal preference. I did really enjoy the scent at first. About halfway through the soap I did start to kind of pick up this almost like chemical smell that I really wasn't very fond of. Um, I don't know if it was it was always present and I just didn't pick it up at first because it, the scent was new and then over time I picked up that, that odd note more but I wasn't really a fan of it so I did kind of force myself and then I ended up moving the soap to my grandmother's bathroom and she ended up finishing it off. There was someone else on Instagram who had mentioned to me that they had picked up a chemical kind of smell so I did actually kind of get that toward the end but I wouldn't repurchase this particular scent. I would love to see them bring out a similar scent like this in a different form in the future. And then the other hand set that we finished is the sunshine and lemons and the gentle exfoliating form. I absolutely love the gentle exfoliating form. It is one of my favorites. I love the grit in the soap. I feel like it just moisturizes my hands a bit more especially compared to the foaming and I really do enjoy the scent. It is yuzu, grapefruit, and lemons and you definitely get that sort of bitter sweet grapefruit note with that really bright juicy lemon. It doesn't smell like a cleaning product. It's just a really nice fresh perfect scent for the spring and I would pick up another one of these. My 
grandmother finished another love rose and vanilla aromatherapy body wash i think i've mentioned this on another video she loves this scent and i like it as well but it is sort of now her signature scent i picked her up several for christmas and so she always uses it when she's here and she really enjoys it it's also a very strong scent i can always smell it like on her skin when she gets out of the shower I finished this mango butter sugar scrub in the bathing gardens blackberry jam and lemon curd I say this probably every video at this point but I absolutely love her scrubs they're reasonably priced I love the grit of her scrubs I feel like they're just the perfect balance of the exfoliation and the moisturization this scent is fabulous I love it in wax and I also love it in the scrub it is her really nice juicy sweet blackberry and just that right amount of like tart lemon curd so that balance of the sweet and the tart is perfect and i love it i would repurchase it and i finished this little bath bomb in the little bottle of calm it was this tiny little small bath bomb and it smelled of lavender and it was really nice i actually did use this with another bath bomb because it was so small another lavender kind of bath bomb and it was really nice this definitely was a like had a lot of fragrance even for the small little bath bomb this doesn't have a label, but this had a the Marshmallow World bath bomb in it. And I heard a lot of people talking about it. And I thought, oh, kind of had a little bit of like a lavender marshmallow kind of smell. But then when I put it in the bath, that definitely candied sweetness came out a lot. And it had a slight reminiscence to me of Snow Fairy. The water was really pretty, but I didn't really like the scent as much as I was hoping that I would. So I do have another one, but it's probably not one that I would get again. And then I finished three wallflowers in April. The first one was Eucalyptus Rain. A really invigorating aquatic perfect spring scent which I love very strong in the wallflower I also finished a perfect spring this one is spring air fresh grass and apple blossom and it does make you think that it's gonna be a very green scent but it was actually very very floral I actually had it in my half bath it was very very strong it lasted all the way to the end my grandmother really liked it but it was a little bit too floral for me and then I also put in beach cabana which is sort of a classic scent that I used to use a lot and I always have picked it up in the wallflowers it is a warm white sands orange blossom and beach side jasmine it is quite a floral scent but to me it also sort of borders on like a laundry kind of scent and not like your clean white cotton but like what you would imagine like a nice fabric softener to smell like this one though was very very light i could barely smell it in the wallflower not a good performer okie dokie that is all of the random bits i'm going to rearrange just a little bit and move on to the wax melts as I mentioned at the first of the video, my theme was green, garden, aquatic, and fresh kind of scents. I thought it would be perfect for April. And for the most part, I did really enjoy it. Like I had already said, I think I just overwhelmed myself by having too many options. Before I actually get into the things that I finished, I do want to talk about a few of the scents that I melted and didn't finish. There were actually a lot of scents that I like tried a cube of or a small piece of that I ended up putting back into my stash that I did not finish. And I didn't want to talk about everything because this video would be like four hours long. But I do want to talk about a few things. The first one is Cucumber Blossom by Destination Wax. I have mentioned the scent before. I absolutely love it. It's fresh, crisp cucumbers and cucumber blossoms. It is just a really nice, green, watery, crisp cucumber scent. I absolutely love it. I think it is great on its own, but it's also really nice mixed with a variety of other fruit scents. So to me, it's one that I'll continue to repurchase. I finished about half of a scent shot in Destination Wax's Tomato Leaf. This is fresh tomato leaves and stems. This smells exactly like like the Bath and Body Works tomato vine candle. It smells very, very authentic. Actually, I like this one a little bit better than the Bath and Body Works candle because it does have a bit of a greenness to it that the Bath and Body Works candle doesn't have. I love it, especially this time of year. And her version is a very, very strong, like a nine and a half for a fourth descent shot. And it's just very authentic. So I will also continue to repurchase this one. I also really enjoy Destination Wax's Blackberry Ginger Ale. It is sweet, tart blackberries and crisp, refreshing ginger ale. I talked about this one in my haul video. It is phenomenal, exactly like I hoped it would be. Very sweet, juicy, tart blackberry scent and that very crisp, cold, evanescent ginger ale is like you get both notes. They're very present it is great it is strong like nine nine and a half for a fourth descent shot and if you like her ginger ale and you like her blackberry you'll definitely love this one 
And lastly, I love this Handmade in Florida Cucumber Mint. I finished about three-fourths of it. This is a blend of cucumber and freshly cut mint leaves. This is probably the best cucumber mint scent that I have come across, and I have tried several. The cucumber in this is very crisp and very watery and juicy, and there's also a little something sweet about it. And the freshly cut mint leaves is like a very nice garden mint kind of scent. It's not spearmint. It's not pe peppermint. It is very much like a garden spring mint, and it just is beautiful. I I fell in love with this as soon as I melted it and I was like, oh man, I wish I had more of it. Her wax is not the easiest to get. She tends to only have a restock. It seems like it's about once a season and she'll sometimes have samplers and then she'll have a, a pretty limited amount of wax that she offers in larger quantities. So fingers crossed. I really hope that at her next pre-order, she offers this one in a bigger size because I definitely want more of it. It is fantastic. So if you've been looking for a really perfect cucumber mint scent definitely give this one a try it's phenomenal okie dokie so that is all the wax i didn't quite finish so let's jump into the wax i finished i finished this yankee candle easy melt cup in april showers this is lemon melon vanilla sandalwood floral notes cotton blossoms it is very clean and aquatic you do get kind of a spring air vibe to me it's not like an authentic green or aquatic scent it actually reminds me more of what i would like a nice fabric softener would smell like this one is super strong the strength and throw is about a nine for the first rotation in my centerpiece and then an eight for the second rotation and about a six and a half for the third rotation i actually probably could get a fourth rotation out of this it would just be a lot lighter this is probably not one that i would get again it was nice to be able to smell it and it was nice that it was so strong but i wasn't a huge fan of it like sometimes i would smell it and i really enjoyed it and sometimes i'm like mm, i'm just not really loving this particular scent the next thing i finished is destination wax fresh dirt and new mown grass and it smells exactly as the name implies it is the perfect balance of that fresh garden dirt exactly authentic dirt and the sweet grass green grass scent that you would expect perfectly balanced perfect for spring very authentic the strength and throw is about a seven and a half for a small piece and my 20 watt hot plate warmer I finished this clam in Super Tarts Quince Harpoon. This is her Jaws scent, which is sea salt, fresh air, sea grass, sliced plum, and sweet pear mixed with orange slices. And this one was super degraded. Look at that. There was a subscriber that left me a comment that told me that orange scents tend to degrade faster than other scents. And I also think because of just the amount of dye that she uses in these, that the clam just degraded quite a lot. But even though the clam was degraded, it was still super strong. I really like this blend. And I think the orange added a really nice citrus sweetness to the jaw scent. The strength and throw was about a seven and a half eight still for one cube in my bulb warmer. So it was plenty strong, even though I've had this one for probably going on two years now. I have several of the jaws blends left, so I don't think I'd be picking up this anytime soon. But once I finish what I have, um, is this is one that I would pick up again. Although I would try to use it sooner so that it wouldn't degrade as much. I finished the scent shot in Destination Wax's Lavender Sweet Basil. This is Lavender Sweet Basil with a bit of eucalyptus, cedar, and sweet patchouli. This is a very clean lavender scent. I've talked in other videos about all the different times, kinds of lavender that you can have. There's all different variations of lavender scents. The other notes, the eucalyptus, the patchouli, the cedar, add a really nice freshness to this one. So it definitely comes across very clean and fresh. And even though it's a lavender blend, I feel like the lavender takes a backseat to the other notes. It's not my favorite lavender of hers, but if you're looking for a very clean fresh invigorating kind of lavender scent then you might like this one the strength of though is about a seven and a half for half of the scent shot in my 24 watt hot plate warmer i finished the scent shot in empire alchemy's bride of frankenstein this is kefir lime leaves sea salt and fresh laundry this one was mostly laundry when it was melting at least to me i did get hints of the salt and the lime almost sort of like a cactus and sea salt kind of vibe that would come out but it was mostly the laundry and it was very very dominant and strong and as y'all know i'm not the hugest fan of laundry scents so this scent overall was just okay for me but i think if you're a fan of her laundry if you're a fan of those types of scents you might enjoy it more than i did it was quite strong the strength and throw was about an eight eight and a half 
for half the scent shot in my 24 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this Clam and Super Tarts Bella's Blood. This is pomegranate, mac, apple, and sweet lolly. And this was the top 18 scent of 2018 because I absolutely love it. Sweet, fruity, a slight tartness to it. The mac apple is a very dominant scent note, but it was very well balanced with the pomegranate and the sweetness from the lollipops and the candy note. Just great. Super strong strength and throw, about a nine and a half for one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. Definitely one that I'll repurchase. I finished the scent shot in Destination Wax's Rainforest Sugar Cane. This is a Bath and Body Work type. Really nice. I actually enjoyed this one a lot more than I expected. This is Fresh Citrus Sugar Cane Vanilla Orchid Rain. It is a very sweet and aquatic kind of scent. I'm not actually a huge fan of this scent and the actual Bath and Body Works body care, but I actually really enjoyed it in a scent form. I think the sweetness really was nice with that aquatic note and the sort of floral notes that this scent has. The strength and throw is about a seven and a half for half, my scent, half of the scent shot in my 24 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this shape and vintage chic scents just singing in the rain. This is fresh water, falling rain, and shimmering blue lagoons. This is an aquatic fresh scent. You definitely get some ozone notes, but more aquatic than ozone. Very fresh, very nice. The strength and throw is about a seven and a half for two pieces in my 20 watt and 24 watt hot plate warmer. So I have two warmers in my master bedroom. I put a small piece in each warmer and the combined strength and throw is about a seven and a half. I finished this coin and vintage chic scents Aunt Cheryl's Stormy Weather. My friend Dana sent this to me and I was very grateful for that. It is very fresh and aquatic as well. This is ocean rain, fresh rain. And when you compare this to the Just Singing in the Rain, which I just mentioned, this one is a lot more fresh than aquatic. I actually prefer this scent more than I do Just Singing in the Rain. The strength and throw was very comparable. It was seven and a half for two pieces and my 20 watt and 24 watt hot plate warmer and I definitely would get this one again. I finished this scent shot in Empire Alchemy's Desert Bloom. This is K for Lime, Light Floral Oak Moss, White Wood, Cilantro, and Sweet and Lime. This one I really, really enjoyed. The lime definitely makes itself known, but it's a really nice lime. I've mentioned in other videos that I'm actually quite finicky when it comes to lime scents. I feel like there are a lot of vendors who say that something has lime in it, and then it smells like Fruit Loops to me. And there's also the certain lime scents that are very, very astringent, and I'm just not a fan of. This one is almost like a creamy tart lime scent which I really like. A slight sweetness to this one, a greenness to it. The other notes were kind of just in the background that I didn't really pick up individually which is really nice. I think the cilantro in this probably also makes itself known and says sets itself apart. A very unique oil that not a lot of vendors have. The strength and throw is a seven and a half for half of the scent shot in my 24 hot plate warmer and I will be putting this on my repurchase list and hope that she offers it again soon. I finished the shape in Candles from the Keeper Rooms Day at the Fair. This is actually a summer boardwalk type of scent. You get caramel apples, popcorn, delicious. I was having a night where we had like a very cool weather in the evening and I was just kind of craving something very sweet and fall like and so I popped this in. I did use this full shape and cut it into three pieces and I put it in my Scentsy Accord warmer so I used all three dishes of that warmer and the combined strength and throw was about a seven. I don't personally have the best luck with candles from the keeping room, at least in my home, as far as strength and throw. Um, I know that she's very popular and she sells out really quickly, so I know that her wax must be great. But for whatever reason, I just haven't quite found that sweet spot with her wax that works well for me. So if you have melted a lot of her wax, let me know in the comments below what warmer you use. Do you use a 24 watt hotter warmer, a 20 watt, a bulb warmer, tea light? Just let me know what kind of has worked for you. I'm really curious. Because I finished this cake in Destination Wax's London Rain. This was a really pretty like bunt style cake cake that she offered. This one I've actually had since 2017. There's not even a date on it. That probably means it was one of my very first orders. I love this scent. It's early morning dewy afternoon rain shower. Rain, citrus, florals, and woods. It is a dupe of the Jo Malone scent Rain and Angelica. It is very pretty sophisticated aquatic scent. A lot of aquatic scents can lean very like fresh and almost sort of cologne masculine and this one definitely leans more slightly feminine and pretty more perfumed. The strength and throw was about a six and a half for a small piece in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and I would definitely repurchase this one. I finished this sample in Destination Wax's cat and sea salt. This is green cactus, fresh sea spray, sea moss, and driftwood. I really like her cactus and sea salt. Very briny scent that I enjoy. Also has very, there's ozone notes that come through. Sort of this oceanside vibe, which I think is 
great. The strength and throw was a seven for the mini cake and my 20 watt hot plate warmer and I would repurchase this scent from her. The next scent I finished is this clam of the bathing gardens frolic. The notes are blood orange patchouli fizz, a karma dupe which is a lush scent and I have melted this from her before. I melted it last year but for whatever reason this year I fell in love with this scent. Like I loved, loved, loved it that I pretty much melted the whole clam in like two days and then immediately had to go on her website and order a couple of clams more and I cannot wait for that order to get here. To me this one is stronger on the orange and less patchouli than the lush scent itself. And I actually prefer her version. I prefer that blast of orange in this particular scent. I just love it. It's great. I think because I loved it so much this year, it might end up in my top 19 since the 2019, but we'll have to see how the rest of the year goes. The strength and throw was a seven and a half for one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And as I mentioned, I've already gotten it again. And that scent kicked off an orange mini theme within the month because I started wanting to melt orange scents after that one. So I went ahead and pulled some orange scents from my stash and I finished this Destination Wax Blood Orange. This is Blood Orange and Goji Berries. It's a very conceptual orange scent versus like a realistic orange scent. You definitely also get like a bitter grapefruit note in this one, which I really enjoyed. I actually mixed this one with her orange scent, which I'll talk about in a minute. The Blood Orange has strength and throw of about a five and a half, six for almost a full cube in my 24 watt hot plate warmer. I also finished her orange scent. This one is a very realistic orange scent, very juicy, sort of like an orange juice, but not overly sweet. Really nice. Actually, like I said, the combination of these two was really nice. The strength and throw of this one was about a five for one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. But because this one and the other one are so old, again, they're over two years old at this point, and because the orange oils, as I've learned, don't tend to store as well as other oils, I wouldn't go by the strength and throw on this. She's also kind of reformulated some of her scents to make them stronger. So even though I said this is like more of a medium strength and throw, I mean, I... I don't want that to be the judge of this scent. If you want to try the orange scent, try it because I'm fairly confident that a new scent shot of this is probably going to be stronger than what I have here. I also finished this Goose Creek wax melt in orange cream soda. This one is super, super realistic. It smells exactly like an orange soda and what comes to my mind is sun-kissed with dollops of creamy vanilla ice cream or... It also smells like an orange creamsicle popsicle. And every time I smell this, it makes me crave an orange creamsicle popsicle so much that I actually had to go out and buy some when I was melting this. I kind of lean more towards that this smells like the soda because I do detect a slight effervescent kind of note in this one. And I just love it. It is so authentic. I probably would say one of the most authentic orange cream soda scents that I've ever smelled. They have nailed this one. The strength of this one was about a six and the throw was an eight. And I did melt one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I probably could have got away with doing two cubes of this one and then it would have really filled the space. But really, really enjoy this one and I will repurchase it. I finished this sample in Destination Wax's Orange Fruit Loops. This is Fruit Loop Cereal with extra orange loops. And I'm not a huge fan of cereal scents, especially the Fruit Loop scent. It doesn't mesh with my nose. This one was okay. I like the additional orange in this one. It definitely is not one that I would personally repurchase because, again, I'm just not a fan of these types of scent. But it was nice to try and use. The Strength and Throw was about a 7 in my 20 watt hot plate warmer for the mini cake. I finished this shape in the Bathing Gardens Fantasy Punch. This is Orange Cognac Bright Lime Punch. It is a dupe of the Lush Celebrate scent. I really, really like this a lot more melting than I compared to Cold Sniff. On Cold Sniff, I just thought that it kind of had this perfumed undertone that I wasn't a huge fan of. But when I melted it, the orange and the citrus really came out a lot more. And it kind of reminded me a little bit of like an orange champagne almost. It was actually really, really nice. I think this is also the same scent as the Golden the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb as well. So I actually really enjoyed this one a lot more. I would actually maybe repurchase the clamshell. The Strength and Throw was a 7.5 in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this scent shot in the Golden Willow Waxes Corey's Country Clothesline. This is Lemon Sugar and Cotton Blossoms and Grass Stains. And this one was a very, very nice blend. All notes were present. The grass notes slightly dominated, followed by the lemon, which, ha which had a nice sweetness, but also a slight tartness. And then you just got hints of that cotton blossom kind of scent. Really, really enjoyed it a lot. The strength and throw was a seven and a half for half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and half of the scent shot in my 24 watt hot plate warmer. So I basically took this, cut it in half, 
put half of it in one warmer, half of it in another of my master bedroom, and the combined strength and throw was a seven and a half in my space. I would get this one again. I finished this clam and super tarts poser spa. This is cucumber mint, seaside, and spearmint, and I absolutely love this scent. I've melted it before. It's definitely a spa type scent. Very well balanced, watery, relaxing, and refreshing. It's just perfection. This one to me smells better warming than on cold sniff. You smell it on cold sniff, and then it's like, oh, there's a little something odd about it. But then when you melt it, that odd note goes away and it's fantastic to me this is like a very much of a hidden gem within her collection of scents and i love it the strength and throw is about a six and a half seven for one cube in my bulb warmer i finished this two pack block in destination waxes tayberry and teak this one is teak wood mixed with sweet tayberries blackberries mulberries and cloudberries this one surprised me this one was much sweeter and juicier than i expected you get this red sweet juicy and tart fruit there's also this herbal vibe very very comforting though as well so it's like a fruity comforting herbal scent and it didn't have a hint of masculinity or cologne at all so if you were like me and maybe saw teak and were kind of staying away from it don't because this is really nice and actually i would get this one again the strength and throw was a six for a little less than a full cube in my 24 watt hot plate warmer i finished this scent shot at empire alchemy's avocado and sea salt this is citrus white rose oat wood ocean salt and lemon and this was a very nice spa like scent as well a nice amount of very conceptual kind of spa green scent. I think she does a great job at blending and creating these really new and unique scents. The strength and throw of this one was about a six and a half for half of the scent shot in my 24 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this clam and Barrett wax crafts warm vanilla and lavender and y'all know that I absolutely love Barrett's lavender scents and I think this one is one of my favorites now. He has a very powdery herbal lavender and mixed with that really nice warm vanilla. It just adds a nice sweetness to it without taking away from the herbalness of the lavender. It's just great. Perfect for relaxation for me. Strength and throw a seven and a half, eight for one cube in my bowl warmer and I will continue to repurchase this one in his other lavender scents. I finished this wax melt in Kringle's Tranquil Waters. This one definitely gives me marine vibes. You get the ozone, you get the salty air, not salty sea air, like not that oil, but like a very authentic salty air kind of vibe you get amber there is something slightly emasculate about it when it's warm and it did kind of give me a little bit of a headache i actually kind of like this more on cold sniff than i did warm but it was still okay probably not a repurchase for me if you like those very fresh watery marine kind of scents that border a little bit on a cologne scent i think you'd like this one the shrinking throw is about a seven and a half for half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer I finished this four pack coin in Vintage Chic Scents Angels on the Outfield. This is Spring Rain, Fresh Cut Grass, and Dirt, and I absolutely love this one. The dirt note was slightly dominant, followed by the sweet green grass, and it kind of toned down that dirt, and I just love it. Like, some people, you see this, and you're like, what? Why would you want to melt a dirt scent? I don't know. It smells good. To me, it's very relaxing. Some people say that it helps them with migraines. I love the combination of this one. This, the fresh dirt can definitely be very dominant and overpowering, but you did get the other notes in this one when it was melting, and this is definitely one that I want to repurchase from her, so I hope she brings it back at some point. The shrink that was about a seven and a half for one coin split between two different warmers. I finished this four pack block in Destination Wax's yellow pear. This smells exactly like a juicy dull fruit pear cup. It is perfectly juicy and sweet. Sweeter than her red pear scent. I would even say juicier than her red pear scent. The strength and throw is about a five for one block by itself. This one definitely, at least in my experience, this wax that is a bit older, is a bit of a lighter scent. It tends to be a really nice blender scent. Like if you mix it with something, it kind of helps the scent along somehow. But I still love it. And you know, I'm not one that has to have something that blows me out of the house every single time. Like I enjoy a subtle scent from time to time. I have more of it actually that I've been using to kind of blend with some other things and maybe come up with a custom loaf. So really nice. If you're looking for a very authentic, juicy, sweet pear scent, this is for you. I finished this shape in the Bathing Gardens Rainbow Apothecary. This is lemongrass, sandalwood with notes of rosewood, lemon, and vetiver. And this one is the Smuggler Soul Lush Dupe. You get the uplifting lemon grass and this sort of naturally sweet slightly floral vibe but there's also a little bit of a warmth to it 
and that kind of sounds vague but that's the best way that I can describe it this is more of a conceptual kind of scent it's uplifting and refreshing at the same time so I did enjoy it not my personal favorite but it was nice the strength and throw is about a six and a half seven for the shape in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this clam and super tarts La Push. This is fresh raindrop, sage leaf, and orange peel. This one is really, really nice. A very fresh scent without being masculine or heavy. And it also a nice amount of that aquatic vibe. The sage smells more of like an actual authentic earthy sage and not like a cologne type sage. Sage is used a lot in cologne scents and it can be very heavy to my nose. This one doesn't register that way at all. The sage in this definitely registers more of an authentic like green scent. It's a little bit of a heaviness but more of a warmth than a heaviness and just really nice. There's also a slight citrus vibe in this one. Really really enjoy this one a lot. The strength and throw is about a seven and a half eight for one cube in my bowl warmer. I definitely will get this one again. I finished the shape in the bathing gardens twiddle D tea. This is a soothing and simple green tea leaf scent. And I really, really enjoyed this one a lot. And a lot more than I expected. A nice sweetness kind of came out of this scent when it was warm. And not an artificial sugary sweetness, but like a very subtle natural sweetness. And that really balanced those herbal tones. There's also a little bit of something like zesty in this one that I really enjoyed. To be a green tea scent, which I know I've smelled before, this one was just top notch and really, really enjoyed it. We'll definitely repurchase it. The strength and throw was about a seven and a half, eight in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this bakery bag, which I had as I've used it, have put it into this bag over time. Destination Wax is pear salad. This with the block shapes. And obviously I've had it for a while. I love this scent. This was the top 18 Vendor Wax scent of 2018 for me. It is just amazing. I love it. I know that a lot of people don't seem to jump on my pear salad bandwagon. I love it. It is the slight sweet juiciness that the red pear adds to her green lettuce scent. So it's like fresh and green, but also this nice balance of like a little bit of a sweet fruitiness and it just works perfectly. I love it. The strength and throw is a seven, seven and a half for one square in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And I will definitely absolutely repurchase this one. And the last wax melt I finished in April was the Yankee Candles Easy Melt Cup in Meadow Showers. This one is ozone, air, spring breeze, aquatic, and you get some green notes. It kind of definitely registers as a green aquatic scent. Really nice. When you compare it to the April shower scent, this one definitely is more of an authentic aquatic green scent. Whereas this one, like I said earlier, it registers very clean and almost laundry detergent fabric softener. I actually prefer the Meadow Showers compared to the April Showers. This one was also quite strong. The first rotation was a strength and throw about an eight. The second rotation about a seven and the third rotation about a five and a half. So this is definitely one that I would get again in an Easy Melt Cup. Okie dokie, if you were just here for the wax melts, thank you so much for watching. It was a great month for me. Let me know in the comments below what you melted in April. I will rearrange a bit and we will move right on into the candles. Overall, I am really happy with the candles that I finished in April. Really fit nicely into the theme. A lot of green scents, but a little bit of fruit to kind of sweeten things up. I finished a box of Yankee Candle Tea Lights and Honey Lavender Gelato. I think I probably said this about every video at this point. I really love their tea lights. This scent is really nice. A very sweet, creamy, lavender scent. The first candle I finished in April is Homeworks Orange Sorbet. This is one of the three wick candles from last year. The notes of orange sorbet are mandarin, tangerine, orange, grapefruit, mango, peach, and black currant. I absolutely love this scent. You get an authentic, fresh orange scent. It's very juicy and sweet, but also tart and zesty. And it sort of has this juicy citrus salad kind of vibe. Like you get the orange, the tangerine, the mandarin, the zesty rind of some of those different citrus orange type fruits. You get a tart mango, a little bit of like a sweet peach. And so combined, you get this sort of juicy citrus salad and it's just really, really nice. Very, very refreshing. It's not super strong though. The strength and throw was about a four and a half, five to five and a half. So about on average, a medium strength and throw for me in my home. The burn itself was great. It was a little bit sooty, but not bad. It burned itself out. You can see there's really nice heavy duty wick clips at the bottom. No issues, no puny wicks. It burned beautifully. I kept the wicks trimmed and it was just a, like a really 
perfect three wick homeworks burn which i had come to expect from the three wicks really really enjoyable i would personally love to see this scent back again i feel like we don't get very many orange scents i think this one is done beautifully i just wish it was stronger i wish that there were more oils so that i could smell it in a farther distance for me personally the next candle I finished, this is Bath & Body Work Lemon Mint Leaf. I really, really like the color of the glass they chose this year. This sort of milky green glass is very pretty. The notes are sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, and verbena sprigs. And this is a very classic spring scent. It's a scent that I pick up pretty much every year, at least one. It's a very zesty, clean lemon scent. It does sort of border on like a lemon pledge like i can see people saying that that's what it smells like but for me it's not quite that lemon pledge it is very clean but the mint and that sort of zesty rind of the lemon sort of bring it back from being like just a full-on cleaning pledge kind of scent i find it very refreshing very great for this time of year the shrink and throw is about a seven and a half the burn was great on this one there was some sooting as you can see there on the sides and the wax is a little bit dirty but other than that the burn was great i did keep the wicks trimmed it burned beautifully, no issues, no puny wicks, and no issues at all. So just a great burning scent. The next scent I finished is the Bath & Body Works number three, Renew & Refresh. And this was a scent that I was really excited to see back. They used to bring this scent out every year. And I really came to enjoy it. It was almost like a yearly staple for me. And then one year they didn't bring it back. And then another year went by. And then another year went by and they hadn't brought it back. I think they haven't brought this back since like 2015. So I was actually really happy. I, the notes are Jasmine Petals, Fresh Air, crisp mint leaf so when i smell this it's very nostalgic it just takes me back to years and years ago and to me it's the perfect spring scent is there is this airy vibe to it yet it is also very soothing it sort of reminds me of like slightly cool breezes and when you're spring cleaning and you kind of open the windows for the first time that's sort of like the the imagery that i get when i smell the scent to me it's a great spring transition scent to start off spring to bring me out of that those heavier winter scents and right into the spring season this is not the strongest scent the strength and throw is about a five and a half but the throw is about a seven and a half so this is one that's not going to be super strong especially when you're comparing it to like the winter scents it's really hard when you get used to those really heavy strong scents to go into something like this and then you're like oh wow it's not very strong but it really isn't it's definitely sort of a light air clearing sort of for breeze like kind of scent to me that is actually what's great about it because i'm really kind of burnt out from winter scents and so to move into something that's a little bit lighter fresher airy and kind of clears the air that like i love it that's part of what i love about the scent this one also had a great burn very very clean not very much soot even the wax isn't discolored just a great burn kept the wicks trimmed on this one as well it was just those perfect bath and body works burns that i wish that every single candle could have i will definitely pick up another one of these the next candle sale the next candle i finished is this bath and body works eucalyptus rain this is actually from last year i love the packaging i think it's just so pretty it just screams spring the notes are aromatic eucalyptus raindrops and spearmint leaves and this is another classic bath and body works spring scent the mint and eucalyptus mint always makes me think of aromatherapy and like a spa like scent to me this is a very fresh spring scent and not really spa like but it is still very refreshing and soothing in some ways i absolutely love it it's a classic one that i also love to burn at least once a year the shrink and throw is an eight and a half so it is a, a great strong scent like you would expect from bath and body works the burn on this one was also great there was some suiting you can see there's a little bit of discoloration of the wax down there but not bad at all i mean it still pretty much looks white no penny wicks no other issues it burned itself out again just a great burn so yeah this is definitely one that i will continue to repurchase every year i pick up at least one because i just love it the next candle i finished this is bath and body works garden greenery look at this beautiful label i absolutely love the look of these it sort of reminds me of the eucalyptus rain from last year this was an online exclusive candle they were not available in stores the notes are sweet apricot fresh basil bright mint leaves with essential oils and what i wanted it to be was a garden green scent and it is definitely apricot heavy so once i kind of got over what i wanted the scent to be and i just tried to enjoy the scent for what it is i did find enjoyment out of it when it was burning the basil definitely came through thankfully the apricot was still a top note for sure but you definitely got that sweet basil it kind of reminded me of kringle's apple 
apple basil candle if you've ever tried that one but substitute the apple in that scent for apricot and then that's what this one reminded me of i actually prefer like apple or pear as the pairing fruit with the basil versus the apricot because i'm just not a huge fan of apricot or peach personally I can see where they were going with it and I think it was a valiant effort but you know it didn't quite live up to my expectations. If you like apricot and you like a basil I think you'd love this one. If you do not like apricot or peach scents at all then this one may disappoint you. If you're looking for a very authentic green scent this isn't it. You do get the basil in it but it you know it's not just fully a green scent. You do get quite a bit of fruit in this scent. The strength and throw was about a seven and a half. This burn was fast. This was a super fast burner. It got very hot very quickly so make sure you keep your eye on it of course you should never leave a candle unattended I'm sure that we all do though when we leave the room occasionally this one definitely keep in close proximity keep an eye on it was quite sooty you can see how sooty and dirty the wax is it's hard to see the soot on the jar because the label is black but there is quite a bit of soot there at some points I did like see little soot balls just kind of coming off of the flames the flames got really big and even though I kept the wicks trimmed, it just was a, one of those fast burners. Like, I think if you've been burning Bath & Body Works candies, candles a while, then you know what I'm talking about. They have some candles that are very fast burners, and this was one of them. The Sydney started pretty quickly after, as it was pulling out. So I didn't even let this burn for the full four hours. I think I would let this go maybe two and a half. Um, and then I felt like it was just sitting so much that I need to put it out. Definitely trim your wicks on this one and definitely keep your eye on it. I would love for them to come out with another candle that had this kind of label that was like a true green scent. Maybe take away the apricot. Put another kind of more subtle fruit like pear or apple and I think that would be really great. Again, the label on this is just great. Not a candle that I'm going to buy multiples of, but I, I did enjoy it enough to buy at least one more. The next candle I finished in April is strawberry pound cake even though I'm doing strawberry this month in May and I actually burned another one of these when this came out and with all the hype I really just had to go ahead and burn it the notes of strawberry pound cake are fresh strawberries golden shortcake and a dollop of whipped cream this one is one that I bought in the store it is the pink version there is also a, another version that has like a peach jar the batch number on this one I'm gonna put it on the screen and move it in just a little closer is 9066 AGA1. This scent is absolutely delicious. To me, this is one of these scents that smell much better when it's burning than on cold sniff. On cold sniff, I was like, mm, it's just okay. I, I didn't like immediately fall in love with it. I didn't immediately get the hype at all. I was like, oh, people are just going gaga over this because you know it's a strawberry bakery kind of scent and we haven't had one of those in a long time and it wasn't strawberry cupcake and so i think people were excited so on cold sniff i was like mm, it's okay but when i started to burn it that's really when the magic happened you definitely get this syrupy sweet strawberry it is definitely not like an authentic fresh cut strawberry there is definitely something about it that reminds me of like if you've ever made a strawberry syrup and you've actually taken the fresh strawberries but you put a loads of sugar on it and that syrup that comes off of the strawberries and that you might use on a strawberry shortcake or something like that that's what it reminds me of and then you definitely get this bakery note that comes across as a vanilla bakery goodness there is something about this scent that reminds me of raspberry peach macaron the bakery note i feel like is somewhat similar they're not a dupe of one another absolutely not but when this was burning like every now and then i get a whiff i'm like that reminds me of raspberry peach macaron there are similarities there's definitely a note in this candle that is definitely in raspberry peach macaron and it's that same very distinct bakery note that makes raspberry peach macaron different among so many of the other bakery scents they've done and i feel like that same note is in this scent so this is absolutely not a dupe of raspberry peach macaron but there's definitely a similar note in both of them i definitely understand the hype i get it there's been a lot of talk about there being different batch variations and i'm not going to go into all that although i will say that some people have said this scent is super super strong for me this scent this particular version was not super strong my strength and throw was about a five five and a half which is still great Right. it's a medium a little over medium strength and throw it's definitely something i could smell but when you compare it to most bath and body works candles it's not as strong as those i can say that i have burned another one and that scent was much stronger definitely filled my space more so there definitely seems to be truth to the batch variations the burn on this one was good 
There was some sooting as you would expect from a candle, but you can see that the wax is still quite white at the bottom. You can see on the side there, there is a little bit of discoloration from the soot. No penny wicks. I did keep the wicks trim. I didn't over trim them, but I did like nip off just a little bit of the wick on this one. Really great, normal burn. Not too fast, not slow. I mean, just nothing to complain about. If you like strawberry and you like strawberry bakery scents, definitely give this one a try. I mean, sometimes when these candles get hyped up, there's not much to it, but I do have to agree agree that this scent is phenomenal. I do think it's different. I do think they've taken different notes from other scents that we've tried in the past and they have put them together, but that combination has created a really good scent in my opinion. The next candle I finished is Homeworks Green Grass. The notes are fresh cut grass, cucumber, geranium, and white clover, and this is one of the four wick candles. I really like this scent. It smells like green grass. This is the green grass scent or a green scent that I really want and was hoping that Bath and Body Works would have in, green, in garden greenery. And this one is just great. You definitely get that sweet green grass. Think of Scentsy Sweet Grass, Destination Wax Grass Scents. You do get some of the floral notes that add a little bit of dimension, but it doesn't really doesn't come across as like a floral candle. You do get this sort of hint of like a peppery bite, almost like an arugula. So there is something a little bit, not spicy, but I mean peppery is the best way that I can describe that. I do get hints of the watery cucumber notes, but it's definitely not dominant. It's definitely kind of buried down there and blended all together. But if I'm looking for it, I, I did pick up hints of that as well. Overall, just a really nice green scent. If you're one that likes green scents, I think you'd really like this one. I really enjoyed it. The strength and throw on this one was varied. So this one actually started off pretty decently strong. It was about a six and a half. The second half of the candle though weakened to about a three and a half to the point where it was really, really weak. I almost couldn't smell it. So that was a bummer. The burn itself was actually good. I mean, look how clean that is. Look at the wick clips there. You can definitely see the size difference in the wick clips when you compare the three wick. Look how massive those wick clips were compared to these, like very small ones. Um, so the burn itself was good, which is what really surprised me about the actual strength and throw varian because I didn't actually get puny wicks from this one. This one actually had the best burn of all three scents in that particular uh, trio that I had purchased. It was very clean and even. I would actually even maybe said this is, might be the best burning four wick candle that I have tried yet to date. It was slower to pull out at first, but it didn't tunnel and then it just picked up and it was fine. I was very careful to trim the wicks, so I didn't want to, you know, create puny wicks. So I think my only complaint about this scent would be that it started off really strong and then it got really weak. It's like I just burned through the oils really quickly. So I just think that for me, overwhelmingly, he needs to add more oils to his candles. I mean, you know, that's always kind of what he was known for at Bath and Body Works was, you know, increasing that fragrance load compared to other candle companies. And I think he needs to sort of take his own advice, so to speak, and and add more oils to these candles because the scents themselves are phenomenal and if he could get the burns right on the four wicks consistently and if he made them stronger I, I mean I just think that there's that's just a winning perfection of a combination for candles and yeah so I'm really happy with this one really happy with the scent I hope that we see it back again I would love to pick up like a duo of this one if it were to come back next year so yeah overall really happy with this particular candle the next candle I finished is this Bath and Body Work Orchid Blossom this this is green apple blossom, morning dew, and soft musk. As I mentioned in my haul of this, it's very similar to Bath and Body Works Summer Terrace and Beach Shades and Mint. They're not the exact same though. I would probably call this a repackage with a twist as the blo bronze blogger would say because they are very, very similar into the fact that it just seems like there is one note that has changed. And to me, that is definitely the apple blossom scent. I love Summer Terrace. I love Beach Stage and Mint. But this one, I was not a huge fan of. The apple blossom in this definitely added this weird musky tone to this blend that I did not prefer. And I actually do like apple blossom. I like it on its own. I do like it mixed with certain things. But in this particular blend it just did not work for me personally at times when I smelled this like I would go into the room and I was like I thought did my dog get wet did something happen it smelled like a wet dog it or it kind of smelled like musky clothes like if you've ever forgotten your clothes in the dryer and maybe they haven't dried all the way or you left them in the washing machine and they get that kind of musky smell they're like oh now I have to rewash my clothes there were times that that is what I picked up. And then there were other times that I definitely picked up those Summer Terrace vibes that I love. But for me, this is definitely gonna be a one and done. I have bought plenty of Summer Terraces. Beach Stage and Mint is coming back this year. So for me, I just feel like this one doesn't quite work out. That's not to say that someone else may not love it or you may not love it. But for me, the combination just did not work. 
The strength and throw was an eight, eight and a half, so it was quite strong, and the burn was actually really good. The flames could get quite large. Um, it wasn't like a super fast burner like the Garden Greenery, but it was pretty fast. So the flames would get pretty large pretty quickly. I think I kept this one burning about three, three and a half hours. I didn't even let it go over four or right at four. I definitely kept the wick trimmed on this one. You can see that it is a little bit of discoloration of the wax down there. It's a little bit sooty on the sides. Not bad, but this is definitely one just to keep your eye on because it definitely would soot if I didn't keep my eye on it, didn't keep the wicks trimmed, and if I let it burn too long. So like I said, this was a one and done for me. It was nice to try it, but I would definitely stick to Summer Terrace or Beach Shades and Mint. The next scent I finished is the Bath and Body Works Cucumber Lily. I really like the label on this one as well. I just like the simplicity of it. I think it's really nice. The notes are fresh cucumber, green tea, lily of the valley with essential oils. This one really surprised me. I am not a fan of lily of the valley pretty much at all. I can tolerate it and sometimes find enjoyment out of it if it's blended really well with other notes. If it's the top note or the most dominant note, I'm not really a fan of that one and I felt like it might be in this blend but actually I felt like when this was burning that green tea and cucumber notes did really come out and balance out the floral side of the scent. The watery green cucumber really toned down that lily of the valley and it actually became a very enjoyable scent for me. The green tea sort of added this little bit of herbalness, this almost a sweetness to the blend, which was really, really nice. So it was a, this was a little bit difficult to classify because I don't necessarily think of it as like a straight up floral scent, but it's not really a green scent. It definitely, to me, registers more on that sort of body care vibe. To me, it was a very pretty scent, but not being like overly feminine or overly perfumed. So it actually surprised me in a really good way. The strength and throw is about a seven, seven and a half. The burn was just okay on this one. So this one was really, really slow to pull out at first from the very beginning. Like the very first burn was very slow. I didn't trim the wicks to start with. I just light my candles and go. And it was really slow to pull out. I did keep it in a sleeve the entire time. I never had to actually cotton ball it, although I probably could have and that might have helped. But it was just really slower wax pulls. I had to keep this one burning like six plus hours because it just wasn't fully pulled out by four and a half hours and then oddly toward the end it did soot a little bit which was kind of odd you can actually see all the residue on the side there where the burns just kind of struggled and this, the candle never got really hot i would call this kind of weak wicks definitely don't need to trim these at all overall though this scent was quite enjoyable i did kind of like being able to let this one burn a little bit longer and not having to feel like i needed to watch it or anything like that so that part was kind of nice and the scent was enjoyable. And I really do applaud them for trying something different because I do feel like we get a lot of repackages and sometimes I'm grateful and I love the repackaged scents because they're scents that I want to burn every year. But I always find it nice when they try something really new and different. And the last candle I finished, will almost finish in April, is the Bath & Body Works Test Lab Garden Arugula and Verbena. The notes are arugula leaf, dewy verbena, Italian olive oil, and watercress. And this one is such an authentic green scent. People will definitely say that you smell it and you get like this very authentic green grass and I definitely agree. The combination of all the notes that they've used, the combination of all the green notes and the oils that they've used in this definitely make you register this. It's like a very green grassy kind of scent. It's very very strong. You definitely get the spicy bite which is comes from the arugula oil. You get definitely a watery crispness to it. I definitely get cucumber in the scent quite a bit which I happen to love and it is very very strong. The strength and throw is about a nine. I would even say nine and a half. The burn on this one was pretty good. You can see I didn't quite finish this one. It was a bit sooty. You can see the discoloration in the wax and you can actually see here like the clean wax here and then the wax that was pulled out and so it was it is a little bit sooty you can see this is after a burn i didn't trim the wicks here and you don't really need to like you could trim off a tiny bit here just to try to help prevent the sooting or you could burn this one and let it go so that's just where you kind of have to make those those candle decisions like do i want to trim the wicks just a little bit or do I want to let it go? So overall, I really like this scent. I would love to have them bring this scent back in a beautiful label like this. I think that would just be great. I don't think that a lot of people love this scent. So I don't know that we'll ever see it back. So I am going to put this one back on my shelf and save the rest of it for next year. 
if you love your green scent and you can find this at a decent price on Macari or eBay, then I think it's great. I wouldn't pay an arm and a leg for it, but I definitely think if you love your green scents, it's definitely worth trying if you didn't get to try it last year. Okie dokie, that is it. That is everything that I burned and melted in April 2019. Overall, like I said, it was a really great month. Let me know in the comments below what you burned or and or melted in April. I know a lot of people have been reaching out to me recently and have said that they're going to start doing themes as well. They really like that idea, especially when it comes to the wax melts. And I do have to say that doing monthly themes really does help me melt more wax, I think. Not that it's a race to melt as much wax as possible, but I mean, I do have quite a bit of a stash. So it is nice to be able to go to a melting basket and pick out what I want in the morning versus trying to like go through all of my stash and figure out what I want to melt because that's just very overwhelming. And it's really nice when I can kind of match my candle burning to my wax theme and it's just working out really well for me. So I love to hear that several of you are also going to start doing things. If you did watch this video in its entirety, leave me a green heart or green emoji of some sort below. I always love to see your faces and to hear from you. I know several of you don't necessarily have the time or want to leave big comments and that's absolutely okay. I love the ones of you that do leave longer comments and I love just being able to see the ones of you that do enjoy the full videos. It does help keep me motivated so I always appreciate seeing your faces pop up in the comment section. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to see other videos like this, please subscribe. I have added a little subscribe button to my video, so if you haven't already done that, you can click on that little button, which should be about here, and subscribe. I have several videos that I have recorded, and I'm in the process of editing Vendor Wax and Bath and Body Works and Candle Hauls, and I'm really excited about getting those out to you guys. I have a little bit of a longer break this month. Um, my grandmother is actually not going to be back here for about a month because there's lots of family things going on, and um, anyway, so I have more time this month. So hopefully I'll be able to get more content out to you, which I'm really excited about. Thank you as always for all of your support and all of your patience. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.